What's up guys? Welcome back to my episode by episode review of the USA Network series The Center. Today we're going to be reviewing part 4. Will YouTube let this video stay up? I don't know. We just have to see. So before I get into uh, the main storyline of this episode, I'm going to talk about the flashbacks and the side stories first. So in the main flashback in this episode to when they were younger, Cora and her sister Phoebe, we see that uh, Phoebe is, uh, she's very perverted. Like, really? Really? Perverted. And she gets, she's trying to get Cora to explore herself sexually more. Now, this almost makes me sad more than it, it, it creeps me out because Phoebe, us, the audience, we know that Phoebe's dead. She's going to die. And I think in, in a lot of ways, she knows she's going to die. So what she's doing is she's actually living vicariously through Cora. You know, getting her to go out and fuck the neighbor boy and then come back and tell her about it. Because these are things that she's never going to experience in her life. And, she's no, and she knows that. Uh, she's never going to have a boyfriend. She's never going to go out on a date. She's never going to have sex. She's never going to do any of that stuff. So it kind of makes me pity her more than it does, you know, makes me think of her as, you know, simply a young creepo. So Mason follows JD to his house. What he's trying to do is he's trying to set up JD. What he does is he turns on the recorder uh, on his phone and he records himself buying drugs from JD's girlfriend slash wife. I don't know. And that backfires when uh, she texts JD and JD says, I don't know who the hell this guy is, tell him to get the hell out of my house. And there's another girl also present during this. We don't get to see her full face or anything. Uh, and what it, it also makes me think that that's his girlfriend slash wife. And I'll explain more with that shit later, okay? Now, off to the main story. Detective Ambrose convinces Cora to undergo hypnotherapy since she just cannot seem to remember what the hell happened to her. It's, it's so repressed that she needs to be hypnotized to bring it out of her. And for the most part, it's successful. We finally get a name to the face. The face of the woman who's always in the flashback asking Cora, are you coming? This girl's name is Maddie. This is also the girlfriend slash wife of JD who was just outside off camera at that house when Mason went to buy those drugs. Cora says that she hates Maddie because Maddie wouldn't let her leave. But yet later in one of her while she's under the, you know, this hypnosis, her and Maddie are running away from someone. They're running away from someone and Cora says that this person is hunting her and Maddie. Every time Cora was under hypnosis, she for some reason would always flash back to this moment when she was a little girl missing the bus. Now, when we're first seeing this, we feel that it has no significance whatsoever, but it will, it has a meaning and it'll, and I'll talk about that in a second. Later, Detective Ambrose is hiking in the woods with his wife. These are the same woods that uh, were described to him by Cora when she was under hypnosis. And while he's hiking, he looks down the hill and he notices something. He notices an abandoned old school bus. So he goes down and he surveys the area around this old school bus. And he notices that there are mushrooms Mushrooms growing in one particular spot and they're, they're, they're not anywhere else except this one spot So his detective instincts kick in and he calls the forensics team and What do they find? But the skeletal remains of someone and the episode ends now I'm I'm still sticking with my um my theory from last week that Cora was a victim of human trafficking, okay? Now, when it comes to JD and his, his, his girlfriend, wives, or whatever, 
they 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 find out a little bit about this girl named Maddie's past and this kind of thing she got into with her landlord. And her and her landlord actually had a thing, but she broke it off when she found out that she was polyamorous. Maddie is polyamorous with JD and this other girl. Where does Cora fit into all of that on the night that she, you know, went home with them and got drugged and all of that? I don't know. Uh, another mystery. Who the hell was this dead body? And who the hell is the creepy guy in the mask? There's only four more episodes left. It's getting better and better. What did you guys think? Did you see the episode? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.